Let's begin our prayers together. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace, the peace, the love of our Lord Jesus be with you always. Welcome to everyone who's here today and also to those who join us on our Wednesday Mass online. We come together from near and far to pray together and to bring our worship to God. Let's pray for God's mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who raised up Pope St. Callistus, the first to serve the Church, and attend devoutly to Christ's faithful departed, strengthen us, we pray, as witnesses to faith, so that, rescued from slavery to corruption, we may merit an incorruptible inheritance in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. Immorality, impurity, laciousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatreds, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with his passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also follow the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day by night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life.
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. My friends, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Woe to you, Pharisees! You who pay tithes on the mint and rue and on every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and the love of God. These are the founds, these are those things that you have done without overlooking the others. Woe to you, Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in synagogues and greetings in marketplaces. Woe to you! You are like unseen graves which people unknowingly walk on. Then one of the scholars of the law said to him, reply, teacher, by saying this, you insult us. And he said to them, woe to you scholars of the law. You impose on people burdens hard to carry, but you yourselves do not ever lift a finger to help them. The gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we can't turn either to the gospel today or to the reading to the Galatians without getting quite an earful. In fact, a, a friend of mine who faithfully reads the scriptures every day was commenting on, on her reading of the book of Galatians this week and said, boy, he wasn't kidding, Paul. He was, he was really, he was demanding. He was really laying it out upon them. And, and really, it, it's, it's all there in the gospel. Uh, a lot of demand to let go of everything that is undeserving of our relationship to Christ and to cling only to those things that belong to God and belong to the Spirit. Um, people have said that <clears throat> Jesus, if he belonged to any group in the uh, New Testament times, <clears throat> that he himself would be considered a zealot. It's a great word, right? If somebody said to you, you're a zealot, would you like that? You're a zealot. I mean, it means someone who is so focused only on one thing that like everything else just, just moves out of their vision. And, and that's Jesus. He is focused only on the kingdom of God. And he asks the disciples to be themselves focused only on God's way, God's purposes in the world, and, and to let go of everything else. You know, Paul today to the Galatians, let go of all of these, what a list of sorcery, immorality, rivalry, jealousy, licentiousness, all these things. They're not worthy of you. Cling to what God wants in community. Cling to, the, cling to the spirit, the spirit of love, the spirit of joy, the spirit of peace. There is a great clue in the gospel today that, that every Christian should hold on to, and that Jesus says this about when we're talking about the law and our aspirations and all of these things that we want to be, and, and sometimes we're a little better, aren't we, at telling other people how they should cling to what is right, um, not turning it around and, and seeing it for myself. And Jesus says to the teachers of the law, who loved the law, who loved all these good things more than they, here's something I worry about with you, I have against you. You impose on people burdens hard to carry, the burdens of the law, the burdens of all of that righteousness and doing, doing what is good. You impose these on people, you teach them, but you yourselves never lift a finger to help to carry them. That's compassion. That's the real test in the gospel. We can want all these good things, we can want to get away from all these other things, but unless we pull someone else up on the journey, it's selfish. We can't think only of ourselves. We have to think of the person with us in community, the person behind, the person who's also trying to live that Christian life. And let's bring all of our prayers today before our loving God. For the church, may the Holy Spirit animate each of her members with new joy and zeal 
for Christ's mission, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in authority, may God give them the grace of humility. Let us pray to the Lord. For those burdened by poverty, hopelessness, or sickness, may God give them peace and provide relief for their burdens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the community gathered here, may God preserve us in harmony and humility through the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they find endless love, joy, and peace in God's embrace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And today we pray especially for Rene Chavez, whom this Mass is being offered. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we bring all of our prayers before you today. We pray them in the name of Jesus, in the power of the Spirit, one God forever and ever. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. May it become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. May it become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For though you have no need of our praise, yet our desire to thank you is itself your gift. Our prayer of thanksgiving adds nothing to your greatness, but makes us grow in your grace through Jesus Christ. In our joy, we sing to your glory with all of creation as we pray. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new, the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and with all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray for the building of God's kingdom in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with you always. And in a word or a simple gesture to others, extend the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. We are able here in church today to receive the, the Eucharist, and we ask those who are be able to watch from home to please, in your own prayer and in your spirituality today, to be united with the presence of the Lord here on this altar in the Eucharist today, and always in our hearts and in our lives.
<clears throat> Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that benefiting from our participation in this heavenly things, we may be helped by what you have given us in the present age and prepared for the gift that lasts for all eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. May God bless us now and always, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and to serve our Lord. Thank you for all who joined today here and for those who will share in this Mass online. May we all be well and stay safe this week. Amen.